All right, gamers, we are back for another episode, I guess, of playing ADC to Master. Going to be playing Aphelios Karma into Samira Alistar. This is um, patch 13.19, so after the Static Shiv nerf. So I'm, pr I'm not going to run Static Shiv. I think it's probably going to actually be bad on Aphelios now. This nerf will actually have affected it on him a lot more than the previous one. Because... Um, so long as a fella, like previously with Static Shiv and Aphelos was good, so long as the proc left the casters one other attack away from death for Aphelos, which it did. But now that they've nerfed the damage by a further 50, it probably doesn't, meaning the casters need two autos to die after the Static Shiv, which is like, you know, at that point, what is the point? There is no point. It barely speeds up your Wraith Clear at all now, so. So we're just gonna stop building that. And we'll just switch to Kraken Slayer. Or Storm Razor. Storm Razor could also be good. Might be good in a game like this. Would be nice to have that extra mobility against both Alistar and Samira and even Aurelia. It's a shame that Alistar has Glacial though, because it would be more effective against Alistar if it meant that after he combos us, we can just auto him and sprint away. Really on that one? Oh well. Yeah, when you're helping the ADC... Nah, leave it, leave it. We have a weaker early game than them anyway, even if we did have Prowl. When you're helping the support... Or when you're the support helping the ADC from under turret, it's actually better, rather than prepping every single minion well in advance, it is better to prep them one by one. As they get, like as you see the turret is focusing one minion, you prep that minion, then the ADC lost headset, then it hits another minion, then you prep that minion. Because if you prep them all in advance, some of them, some of them inevitably will just get prepped by the minions anyway. Which if you've already prepped that minion, by the minion aggro I mean. And if you've already prepped that minion, then it's going to be overkill damage and the ADC can't lost hit it anymore. <coughs> So you want to take it one at a time and see which ones actually need prepped instead of doing them all at once or all before the turret shot is even turret is even focused them, you know. And anyway, we're playing a fairly defensive matchup here. We don't want to get all in against Samira, Alistar. I'll place a ward there. I tried. I could base here. Next wave isn't a kind of wave, but I may still do it. I feel tempted to stay just because Alistar is getting kind of low, but... Now they've got a slow push going towards us, though, is the thing. It's gonna be hard to farm. I'm gonna get boots as well instead of dagger. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, Alistar is the only one that's low. It would be much better to stay if Samira was low, because he all he needs to have is enough HP to like live long enough to get an engage off, and then Samira, if we were to like try and kill Alistar, Samira would clean us up anyway, so focusing Alistar wouldn't even really be an option. So it's just bait. Better to base, get an item lead. With any luck, maybe I could thin this out, but I thought I'll be able to get rid of green fast enough to get blue. Oh man. Up close. Okay, kill to Aurelia.
I'll place a quick ward there just to make sure that I'm safe to keep shoving this in. I'm not gonna get ganked by the tri brush. Through the tri brush, rather, not by the tri brush. Brushes don't gank people. There we go. Yeah, they pretty much got that. I'm just gonna start basing. It's better to base like closer to the Drake than further away from it if I'm considering like maybe they might need help. But they don't need help anyway, so I'll base. I can get the noon cover already. Hmm. So we're gonna continue wanting to play fairly defensive here. So this pink ward is not to be placed here. Like this is like kind of a stupid location for a pink ward where you're playing super defensively because they're always gonna have prow, they're always gonna have the ability to clear it. Where we want to place a pink is here, where it's a lot harder for them to clear. It's gonna be defensive pinks only. Not like contestable pinks because we can't contest them. We can't defend them when the enemies contest them. Yeah, let's start with Hexa Flash, that's important to note. Yep. There's a triple weapon combo I can do here. But I'm not really in the kind of lane where I want to play aggressive, even during these windows where I can be fairly aggressive. This could be good though. Yeah, no it's not, she's level 6, jeez. She blew her up. Yeah. I'm gonna have to ghost to make sure I'm safe here. Now she's gonna dash though, so unless she flashes on me, she's gonna wait to actually do anything to me here. I gotta flash that. That was me overextending. My bad. At least I got some damage on Samira though. Oh, if that actually didn't get blocked, man. Um, that's Samir sadly. Mm, damn it, if we just had the Samir, the damage to blow Samir up there. Let's see seed for too long. Oh well. Karma's just being way too greedy there though. Like if she was gonna focus anybody, it needs to be Samira. Mm, it's possible Samira actually would have died here if she if Karma hadn't wasted everything on LSR. I think the, using W and LSR is fine because it's what it's what forces Samira to uh, have to like turn and LSR to have to turn because he's gonna get CC'd eventually and you know he wants to like counter engage so he's fighting back. But if yeah, if Kami, that Q from Karma to LSR is useless because we should be killing Samira not LSR. Engaging on LSR is fine, like to force them to have to turn, but then wasting uh, like actual damage on LSR. As opposed to Samira is pretty bad. Much better to use W to force the counter engage and then just turn on Samira. When did Kama get a kill actually? I have a feeling I'm... Um, yeah, holy shit, that was a fast combo, holy fuck. Yeah, I was gonna say, I have a feeling I'm taking a bad fight here, but I wanted to try it out. <laughs> Let me see that again. I figured maybe being in between the minions, so she couldn't, like, hit me with a Q, it might be alright, but... Okay, so it's easy, yeah, it's actually kind of easy for her to get full stacks if she just... Like, it gets into range to use her W without having to dash for it, because then she can... Dash, then hit her W again, then get Q, then get an auto, and that's just an instant ult combo. <coughs> Alright, my bad. Yeah, no, I shouldn't be taking fights against her even. Like, it, it's slightly easier if Alistar isn't in the lane, but that was still incredibly one-sided, as you can see. After level 6 in particular. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, if I approach Samira, I mean, the same thing is going to happen again. It's going to have to be Diana doing most of the heavy lifting here. Yeah, she's probably trying to cheese me. I got Red Ult at the very least. There we go. Red Ult was enough to survive. Uh, I want to get at least one plating, then I'll help. I should also actually shove this wave, is uh, the awkward thing as well though, actually. Okay, she's got it. Oh boy. Feels like a waste, but it probably does keep me alive, this ghost. <clears throat> oh, I do, dude, I did say that the Stormers would be ideal. I can still bolt Stormers though, okay, perfect. I have so much gold that I can just do either one. The dagger will build into Berserkers, nice. Okay, decent poke. Okay, I want to make sure that I'm not wasting my storm as a proc on this cannon. Because I would rather use it to harass. Ooh, here we go. So I gotta stop moving to stop generating stacks to make sure when I'm ordering the cannon, I don't have a stack. So we don't waste it that way. She wants to engage, but the Stormizer makes it so easy for me to avoid that. Again, I don't want to waste the stacks there. She should be dead there. Blue too close to the sun, Samira. Nice one. She really wanted to get me. The Stormizer helped a lot there. Ah, damn it. Weapon swap. Okay, I need to get out of here. <clears throat> I won't even base there, it could even be still too risky. Here should be fine. I'm just thinking of, uh, like, if Lilia happens to come from these golems or something. She might be somewhere else on the map without me noticing. Might have been, like, pr very recently. But since I didn't see her anywhere, I gotta assume she might be around. I won't search the blue trinket yet, it's better for her out of landing phase. Yeah, so that was pretty nice that I could do that, thanks to Storm Reserve. But at the same time, that also pretty much required me having green, the extra range of green to apply my Storm Reserve at a distance from. Um, now that I don't have green, I wouldn't be able to do that again, probably. I don't know why I'm against a Rally here, by the way. She's one level down on me, though, for some reason, so... And with any luck, I don't just get insta-dived. She might be choosing from a bush or something. There's actually a super good defensive triple weapon combo I could do if I had ult up, by the way, here. Um, what we could do is, if I'm running low on, uh, like, if I'm running a 10 ammo or less on purple, then what I could do is auto Q, and when the when the animation goes through for, like, swapping to red, I cancel that animation with ult, and so I would get an instant root, you, which, you know, is good defensively. And because they're rooted, they can't dodge my red ult. And my red ult would give me, like, guaranteed healing. So that would be such a good defensive combo. Not so good aggressively, but it, it could definitely win you a lot of fights. I was thinking about that yesterday. Didn't get a chance to do it, but... <clears throat> Should actually be a really good one. Not even... It, it can be pretty good for dueling as well. It's not the highest damage, but I assume, like, a guaranteed red ult has to be really good for a duel. If it's, like, at all close. So I've got uh, pretty much sub-10 ammo now, actually. One purple auto would give me that. And I need one purple auto for using Q anyway. 
See, now is when it would be good to have blue trinket, but I didn't expect this. <laughs> I gotta assume my is just chilling in a brush. We're gonna do Grump, and if she still doesn't show herself, we'll just go mid. Oops. Yep, she was in a brush. Called it. So is she gonna slow push, or is she gonna push? I think she's pushing. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was so insanely close. I need to get out now. Wait, no, 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 no. Damn it, I'm dead, I think. Unless... Fuck! Ah, damn it. I thought the ticking might be done. Ah, oh, that's so frustrating, man. I had... I guess 300 HP. <clears throat> that blows. Did I really TP? Yeah, she did. Yeah, I TP'd because if I... Or, sorry, I ghosted because if I didn't, then I really might have a chance to, like, flash Q me. So it was either ghost then or ghost never. Yeah, damn it. How did that even hit me, by the way? That was absurd. Like, it was to the le to the side of me. I wasn't behind the wall. I was to the side of it. Look. <sighs> Sucks. I might actually do Gale Force instead of Infinity Edge as well here. We'll see. Kind of forgot Gale Force was an option on Fellows, but it is, obviously. Should be good against Stellar Star, good against Samira, good against Aurelia. This fight is already over. <coughs> we did it! We did it! We did it! The combo, that's exactly what I was talking about! Oh. And I'm dead. Damn it. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. I was so sure. Oh. Dude, so I, th I thought Talistar would just have to peel Yone off of Rumble to save his life. So that's why I felt comfortable to just go in there while Alistar was like in range to combo me. But then Rumble flashes away, so suddenly Yone doesn't need peeled off anymore. So suddenly Alistar has no reason not to go on me. <laughs> that was a bit unfortunate. Ooh. Oh man, get her, get her. Nice one, guys. Yeah, I think I'll do Guild Force. It's gonna make this game much easier. The fact that the uh, Alistar combos are so easy to dodge with Guild Force as well is super nice. Oh wait, could I have done? Probably could have done Zeal. Whoops, my bad. Okay, I realize coming. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Wait, we did Baron, what the hell? Nice one. Okay, so I kind of have to assume my is just cheesing again, right? Unless, did I see her there? I don't think I've seen her. No, she's gonna be in these brushes 100%. She's cheesing. We'll just base. We're not falling for that shit. <clears throat> she even knows that I'm like sitting here out of vision because the minions were burned up from my presence. So she can tell that even if I'm not showing myself, I am there. So she could be like comfortable that I hadn't actually left, so she could keep on waiting in the bush, and eventually I would probably give up and go for the farm, but I'm not. So eventually she showed herself. I might have just based in the bush. Need to get rid of blue. Need to put this in the right slot as well. I don't actually have a binding to this, by the way. Usually it would be one, but I have one for trinkets. So if I have an item active there, then I'm fucked. I have to click it manually to use it.
Right, I have time to get the sweat buff. Okay, Diana fed, Yone fed. We're looking in a good spot here. I'm also even in farm with Samira, so... I'm not doing terrible despite her massive kill lead. It's more down to Samira having terrible farm though. It's, it's like, I can't, I don't even have that good farm. It's, it's like impossible to have good farm when, when I rally a place like this. Just constantly choosing bot lane, so I have to like disregard bot lane as a farming option. Got him. Cool. Oh, one Q would have killed my bad. That might kill, but I doubt it. Yeah. Does he have? Yeah, he has thorn mail. Alright, I can do Lord Dominic's next. It's, just, it's actually so much better on Yone than it is, than it is on other DCs, just because of all this free lethality. Lethality synergizes with both lethality and armor pen. So the more you have of one stat, the better the other is. If I was doing W max, then I would probably just do like... Phantom Dancer instead, because they don't actually have that much armor besides on Alistar. But Lethality makes it so even without a lot of armor, it's still really effective. An enemy has been slain. Who's that? That's Aurelia. <laughs> she really loves cheesing, man. Like, I have... So much less farm than I should have this game just because she refuses to stop trying to kill me. Jeez. Next one can be a triple weapon combo. Oof. Just a chunk. Suppose it wasn't really worth it because she could just block it with her W anyway, but I guess it worked out. She didn't do it. I like how it doesn't matter matter whether I'm bot or mid. Either way, regardless of where I'm farming, there's always an Aurelia zoning me from farm. Hmm, not a good spot for me to fight in. I do have good weapons to fight with, though. Fucking hell. Fuck, she has a goddamn blast gun. I missed. There's always an Aurelia zoning me, man. Okay, nice. 
Doesn't matter where I am, what I'm doing. I was counting on Relia to zone me from what I want to do. Okay, nice one, guys. Yeah, I can't really do much this game. Like, pretty much my sole job is to stay alive and keep, like, at least forcing people's attention out to me. Because at least the fellow's doing nothing while alive is at least forcing people like, to, like, puff towards him, use cooldowns on him. Whereas the fellow's doing nothing while dead, he doesn't even exist. Nobody's thinking about him. Get away from her. <clears throat> Next up, we can do Bloodthirster or Shield Bow. I think Bloodthirster would be better, though. Ooh. Ah, oh, he missed the mirror. Fucking Aurelia, man. Really? She's gonna try and dash on me. She, she's gonna keep trying to dash on me through those costers. Jeez. Got her. Mm. Oh my god. Okay, I'll go for these raptors. But bro, this Aurelia, every time, it's insane. <laughs> I might be able to kill Rumble here, though. Yeah. Oh god, I'm dead. My bad. Damn it. Well, Drake is up and she just wasted ult. Maybe that's enough. I got her a little bit low as well. Yeah, my bad. Ugh. Didn't have too much warning. And no vision, and the minion made it really convenient for her to land that. Okay, we got it. They should try and get out without fighting now, if possible. Or at least minimal fighting. He needs to focus Samira, not Rumble. Any fight where Samira lives for extended periods is not going to be winnable. At least one person lives. With Baron. Eh, it's about to run out anyway, though. I don't have gold for us, I can't really do anything here. He's actually going for it. Wait, did I melt miss? I think it did. Alright, my bad. <sighs> Can't do anything, man. Even just trying to farm when it looks like they backed off just still gets me killed. Wait, how did Karma die so fast? Oh, she got blown up. <laughs>
Hello. Um. Sheesh. Oh, that was meant to be a white ult, my bad. Nearly got her. There we go. Get rid of this blast gun while we can. Nice. Ah, oh, goddammit, Alistar. <laughs> ah, didn't see him coming. I guess we had no vision there. Oh, did they just ace us? Well, not quite ace. Yone is gonna stay alive a little bit longer. Yeah, com came completely out of vision. Fuck. Did he flash for it? Yeah. Yeah, not much I could do there. I never saw my goal first go off though, but I saw it on cooldown. It's too late to strike that. Oh wait, oh, that's just because the replay was missing 20 seconds for some reason. Ah, this blows. I think if I played a little bit better, my team could have carried me. Now that I don't think I played it terrible, it's just like, it was a really shitty, like, pretty much like, um, I had no opportunities this game, but if I had played better around those lack of opportunities, um, then, you know, it would have been better. Anyway, GG. Alright, gamers, we are back for another game of ADC the Master. This game I'm going to be playing... A fellow Slulu into Kaisa Pike. I quite like a fellow Slulu. It's good peel. Makes my damage very big. Going to be a rough matchup, though. Especially if they're in this brush choosing. I don't think they are, though. Pretty confident they're leashing since I just saw Sad is already top, so he's not leashing. Yeah, the matchup is gonna be bad, but scaling will be quite nice. Okay, they're beating us to level two. Start backing off already. We're going Kaisa. Okay, not bad. She's not propping my minion. I missed the karma from the previous game already. Oh well. Only missed for a CS overall though, not too bad. At least because Pike's engage doesn't work through minions except, you know, with a Z. At least I can actually like play a bit more aggressively than I could in the previous game where anytime I was in range to auto attack, I was in range for an Alistar combo. That wasn't nice. Okay, nice to go the cannon, thank god. Mm. Well, that blows. I could either be roaming, or... He could be trying to cheese me from there, yeah. Sheesh. Oh, hello. Oh, what the hell. <laughs> I guess the ghost was a bit overkill in hindsight, but better safe than sorry. You could try and do that again. I might have ignited up. I think I'll just have to base here. Hopefully, guys, it takes a long time to shove that in. And if she does shove it in, then hopefully Lulu can just freeze it. I just didn't crush it. If I could land maybe one more green Q on her, I think she might die. No, I won't. Wait, what the hell? No! Damn it, if the if they hadn't nerfed purple Q marks. Ah, damn it. 
If the purple key marker just lasted on her like one more second, she would have been dead. Fuck that blows. Yeah, that purple auto slow early on is not long enough to actually go there. Wow, did Kaisa actually walk up there and kill Lulu when she should have been killable? Like, if Lulu has EQ, surely Kaisa just dies there. I don't know how she didn't die. Maybe Lulu had no cooldowns? Oh my god, I'm like 20 CS down. This is a disaster. Well, I'll be a little bit less behind once I've soaked this all up. Still pretty behind. Nice one, not a bad trade. But it's such a painful matchup, man. All I'm trying to do is soak up XP. Was he already in that brush? Because I was really overextended if he was. Where was he? No, he was just in that brush at the very back. So <laughs> I'd say my positioning was like as safe as it could be while still soaking up XP, but that still wasn't enough. Close. I wasn't sure about the uh, picking. Like, we already knew that the uh, Pike was gonna be... was like their support when we picked Lulu. And I was, really wasn't sure whether we wanted to pick such a hyperscaling ball in against the Pike. I'm dead again. Damn it, she, she'd actually polymorph the Kaisen and maybe I lived. There's nothing Lulu can do to protect me here. There's nothing I can do to protect Lulu. We just keep dying every time Pike lands and engage. Blows. this wave here. I guess Kaisa's roaming? Yeah, she is. Nice. And she's dead. Cool. Maybe I can get a plating here. That would be nice. I, I probably want to do Storm Razor in this matchup again, I guess. For safety. Either that or maybe even rush Gilforce. Nah, but Gilforce has like way too long a cooldown on its uh, protective property. It's way better to keep you safe in team fights than it is in lane. Even if it helps me, even if it helps me dodge one Pike Hook, that is just so worthless in the long run. <clears throat> what the hell is Jax doing? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that was fairly predictable. <laughs> what? 
Pike might be around, or is he there? No, that's it. Yeah, I do see Pike though. Thank you for the shield. Only reason I won that trade. I can do a triple up and combo. Nice reaction time, Lilo. Where the hell is Kaisa? Here she is. Oh god, wait. No, are you kidding me? I just died to that? Jesus, my bad. Uh, I should have been paying attention to Lilo's positioning as well. I was dead set on doing the combo. I didn't think about whether we were actually 2v1 or 1v1. My bad. Jeez, that's a lot of damage though. I fucking hate that Kaisa build. Where you get two early serrated dirks, like, or, you know, a, a lethality atom and then another super fast serrated dirk is just absurd, man. What HP was I? I was full HP, right? Well, not quite. Techn if I had started full HP, I would have actually survived the lost auto at least. Oh god. Oh, come on. Okay, at least I get shake up, jeez. I want to save my last bit of white ammo for defensive purposes in case somebody comes for me. Because I can triple up and combo with it. There we go, and that gives me Storm Razor. Oh boy. No way, I'm very dead, but at least I did a lot of damage. No Lulu run. She might be fun when... No. She got numbered. Sucks. Yeah, I think something like Nautilus would have been much better in the matchup. Lulu can only watch when I get hooked, and I can only watch when Lulu gets hooked. We have no, like, pressure to stop them looking for engages either. She picked Lulu because I picked the fellows, which usually I would appreciate, but... You gotta pay attention to the matchup a little bit as well. Universe pushing here. I won't even clear the pink, it's just most important to clear the wave ace up. Hello. <laughs> okay, goodbye. At least I got the wave though. But yeah, much better to like die like this and I get the full wave than start off with the pink, clear the pink, go to the wave and die while I'm like midway farming. Midway through farming the wave or haven't even begun farming the wave. Oh, come on. She might get him with ult. Come on. Ah, oh, she can't reach him because the Shaco slow is so annoying. Come on, Lulu. Oof. Okay, nice one. Yeah, I could do with going mid. Because if Zed goes bottom, I'm just going to keep dying like that over and over. I got two waves for that death in particular, but 
these days, but I'll probably keep dying without even getting waves. Ah. Ooh. Damn it. Why does he have to be so slippery, man? Close. I was trying to do purple Q into blue ult into blue Q. Very fast burst combo. Damn it, I didn't even get that. Jeez. <laughs> Lovely. Alright, what do we want this game? Go for us or Infinity Edge? I would say Infinity Edge. Should be fine. I don't have any like super important cooldowns to dodge like uh, Alistar WQ. It's just straight up like, it's not the easiest comp to survive against, but like, uh, I can do it without Go for us in theory. Just need the right fights. Wait for these minions to line up. There we go. I like that surely got to be the clone. Yeah. No harm in killing it so long as it's not in melee range of me though. Is that a killable Zed? No, that's his, is he chasing an Ivia? Don't know what he's doing. Okay, I've got enough ammo for a triple open combo here. A safe one. <coughs> Safe as long as I can charge out on minions. Got it. Come on, no, the slow. No, that's the clone. No, I was so close, bro. Fuck, I'm so sad. If, if Shaco didn't slow me with E at that exact moment, she was dead, bro. So tilting. I shouldn't have tried it. I should have just sat, been satisfied with uh, chunking her out, though. Because she, if, it, if she had a shutdown, then okay, fair enough. But regardless of her being super ahead or not, she just doesn't have a shutdown. Presumably she's dead recently anyway. So this is just a regular 300 gold kill, regardless of how ahead she is. And it's, it was not really worth it, especially not with not 100% uh, guarantee of actually getting the kill. It was not worth it to use flash like that, just to try and get a 300 gold kill. Yeah, the problem when you're laying against Pike is that Pike has like the most ease of engage of all time. Like, not unless he's at least like. There's a certain hook range he has, and so long as you respect that hook range, then you're fine. Problem with Pike is that he can W onto you, gains like 500 movement speed when he's in W. Then he, can, if that's not enough, he can E towards you. Then he can go for the hook. His his effective engage range is like literally 2,000. It's absurd. You can't like avoid that. You have to be able to fight back. And the lane like this, we can't fight back. We're just extremely vulnerable at all times, which is why we suffered so much in that lane. That's so why I say if I had a Nautilus, so if, if Pike wasted like three cooldowns just trying to reach me, then at least we just hook him and one-shot him and he dies, right? Because he's only got one ability left to fight back with. But Lulu can't do shit to him. Jeez. 
Jesus Christ, I'm basically dead already. Okay. I think I got her? Oh, come on. Sad. It was nearly my kill. Bought any of the kill site or just grab that free farm though. Make yourself a weapon so you do not have to feel our fear. But you are not a weapon. You are my brother. One more wave should be doable. Come on. Ugh, the further it goes though, the less safe it is. But it, we see Sad top lane at least. Only Sad could be here and I think Zed, I'm pretty sure Sad would have based, so... Seems we're fine. Could actually finish Collector. Not sure it's worth it though. Oh my god, that came close to killing her. Have we killed Satya? Got him. My ult was arguably too overkill, but just wanted to be absolutely sure I didn't get somehow cheese there. I'm not gonna be able to rotate to the fight in time. here ideally Lulu. That's the only way I can actually do anything useful. Oh, she has no words. It's fine, I think they're stopping the Baron anyway. Ideally I need to shove a midwave before I can actually help with the trick. Can he go back to that shadow? I think he can. Okay, now we should be able to do it. There's no way if they can shove it and make us miss or push the turret with now. At least not until it reaches the middle. We don't want to go for Drake like 20 seconds before it's spawning, when there's still a wave to be shoved. Damn. Okay, we got it at least. Why is Kaisa on Grump? Kidding me. Ah, I was actually if I just kept dodging him, I think I would have killed him. My bad. <sighs> so annoying though. Did Lulu have the base there? Not really, like sure she was missing some HP, but if I wanna go for farm, you know, support me. What's the point of picking a uh, an enchanter for if you're not gonna Make it safe for me to do shit like just farm. Oof. Well, 
about this store, I guess. Did I even hit anyone? I didn't. Come on. Okay, I killed Kaisa somehow. Oh my god. Another one there that I didn't see. Bro, Bro I was so close to killing him. Fuck. I really thought that was the real one, my bad. Oh god. It was like, so I saw him placing the... Jack in the boxes, so I thought, okay, so I'll just avoid those. But then there were other ones that had apparently been placed beforehand. Sucks. Like, I thought it might have just been the one that was the cheese, but no, he had multiple that I had not seen being placed. Jeez. Must have had a minefield of them. Oh, I think, uh, I think actually it was Baron that killed Kaisa now that I think about it. Nice one. Dude, I really thought, by the way, that if I just aimed my ultimate here, there was no way it wouldn't hit anyone. <laughs> but they were all grouped here for some reason. Like, behind the Baron. Could have done a lot more damage if my white ult landed. Lolo, Lolo. For fuck's sake, man. What's the point of having a support? We can see them making their move while she was still around and she keeps pothing towards Baron. <clears throat> Guess I'll do shield blow. At least make it so those combos don't work. But he'll still kill me if he just saves his cooldown for his ultimate. What he keeps doing right now is he uses his cooldowns, then he ults me, and then the ult finishes me. Nice try. This looks good. Nice. I need to go bot, by the way. Oh god, come on. Tell me he kills her. Okay, nice, he got away from the Shaco clone. Huge. Big shot down from the Z2. Oh, whoops, I got rid of green too early. My bad. Shaco's on the way, maybe? No. That was a long shot. Nice. I should have dodged that. I forgot about the massive nuke. <laughs> okay, I'm alive for now. If I could just farm in base though. Please. They could have just let them in his gun base and I could have kept farming. Okay, I suppose I can sell Cole and just wait a little bit for our shield ball. Drake is already up though. I'm not sure we can contest though anyway. But, like Jax is top anyway, it doesn't have TP. Yeah, it's gone. Okay. Oh. Lulu died with ult up. Oof. Wait, my blue didn't even hit Pike somehow. 
Wait, I want to get rid of this while I can, but now it's fucking in range of me. It's just gonna randomly die. Okay, there it is. What the hell? Fuck. Okay, my ship. No, I thought it saved me. I guess I got hit by Shaco. Yeah. I think I would have lived if not for Shaco. Oh well. This is good though. That was a good fight. I just want to point out, by the way, there's not been a single occasion where Lulu shielded me while I was being burst by Zed. Always in the wrong place. It has been a terrible pick. Like, it cost us... Well, obviously, like, we're expected to lose the lane no matter what if we're playing, like, a fellow into uh, Kai's uh, Pike. Some supports would have made it a little bit more playable, but uh, mostly we would just be behind... Like, less behind. But then the reward for going through laning phase and suffering like that is nothing. I got no reward. I have not played with Alula on my team at all this game. <laughs> she has not benefited me in the slightest. It's so tilting. I think we'll do... Bloodthirster now. Like, I feel scared to farm here, because that could be in the area, and I know Lulu's not going to save me. Yeah, i got to start spam pinging in advance in case he's going to flash on me, and Lulu doesn't start pathing towards me. Oh my god. Shame I didn't have blue. Could've been better. Did I get him? Fuck, I didn't. I guess his ult blocked it. Wait, Jesus! She can't save me. <laughs> what is the point, man? He's comboing me with Lulu right there, and she still can't do anything about it. Oh well, GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game. Oh, wait to see the time. No, wait to see the master. I'm gonna be playing a fellow Xerath into Tristana Nautilus. Probably not an amazing game to be playing Peleos, but they're really the only champion I'm like in the mood to play. So like the the, the champ select that I could see, like I was picking Peleos, a Peleos like fourth pick, was a garbage game for Peleos. But I just really want to play him because my entire team is all assassins and the mage support, so I have a zero fucking peel against like a full assassin dive comp. Yeah, and Zerath can't even help himself. Ah, messed that up. I exhausted a little bit too early, my bad. Should have been waiting until the bomb was actually exploding, and I could have minimized more damage there. Fuck it, uh, I should have protested the cannon. Would have been fun if it wasn't getting focused by minions though. Oh yeah, that was also just on his second kill, since, uh... 
Please don't tell me he's gonna cancel my base. Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm actually dead. Ah, oh, that was 0 point tennis flash, I'm dead either way. I could try and... Well, actually... Oh, I'm actually gonna be fine. Cool. She has no jump now as well, so she can't really finish me here. Nice one. Cool. Not bad. Yeah, she got a kill level 1 from Yone. For invading. And it was AFK. He had plenty of time to leave, he just wasn't paying attention. And actually, a smart jungler actually helps us shove in the wave. Because here, a lot of the time what happens is they don't help us. Or force to, like, try and shove in the wave. Ooh. Yeah, not worth going for the plating. They just leave, and we're forced to shove in the wave 2v1 against the jungler. And then the enemy jungler shows up and ganks us while we're shoving, and we die. But it's like, we couldn't not shove the wave. Oh, God, that actually hit me instead of Echo. Are you shitting me? Do they have vision or what? I mean, he clear clearly he can't have had it previously. Maybe he had it this time, though. Oh, no. He could have flashed in there. I mean, I think I would have pinged it if he had vision. This is just crazy that he actually managed to snipe me. And that's the second time he's hit me in the brush. I guess we could have done with Echo actually trying to stand in front of me. Oh, I can't even shove this in because they could be choosing in that brush, man. I wish these games were more playable. Not less this X flash. Even standing in XP range is a small risk. Just gonna have to take the gamble now that they are actually gone. Oh god damn it! I was trying to hit. I was trying to loss at the cannon, the minion behind the cannon, and then also loss at the cannon, but. I worked out in the worst way possible. Oh god, it's Red Dark on Tristana. She's gonna go for maximum burst. I'm gonna place vision behind us to hopefully keep us safe from potential dives. She might try and all in me here. Oh, okay. Whoa! She is gonna try and all in me then. Come on, get her! No, no, you're kidding. At least she doesn't. he doesn't die to Tristana this time, but Jesus. I would say he should have tried the bait there. Oh, well. Oh, but I could try and shove this in because Tristana's too low to contest, but we I just saw the cane is on that Scuttle Crab. So if I shove, I'm gonna die, probably. Oh, well, the choice is being made for me. I think it's fine. I've recovered some HP from my potions now. Okay, I'm gonna base directly. And I guess we'll do Storm Reservoir again. Wait, she's still there. What the hell? We would. We should try and abuse... Mm, whatever. So I can't really, I couldn't really like safely pressure her as long as Nautilus is in the lane, but Xerath could. Eventually she drops so low that Nautilus can't do anything. Wait, I'm dead. Didn't think that through, my bad. Wait, oh, yeah, no, my bad. So I was like positioning in a way where I could actually walk away from the bomb explosion while still being able to loss it, but then I'm also leaving myself open to the Nautilus cube, which was why I was behind the turret in the first place. I'm so frustrated, man, because she should have been the one being pressured there, not me. I don't think they should be able to kill him there. He just needs to walk away. Oh, well, he's just going to let her combo him. He just needed to immediately walk away as soon as the root ran out, and he would have been fine. Like I'm, I'm basically just constantly opting into losing, opting into losing matchups by picking a fellas, but it's ridiculous like how some of these are playing out. I'm 
My support picks are also just not helping. This Zerath was last pick for the record. This is his counter to the matchup. Oh, fuck me. Hmm, why do I feel like there was a delay in my first auto? Yeah, what the hell? There was a delay in my autos. What the hell? Look at that. <laughs> what? I, I think I would have killed her, actually. Huh. Maybe. Well, that blows. Because they made a huge mistake if I actually mathematically should have beat them there. But it doesn't go punished because I just wasn't autoing. That sucks. Not sure what happened there. Ooh, if he landed, that's done. Can't really triple up and combo because can't really get a merge to green there. Swap combo though. Oh, oh that blows. Wait, what? Close. Shame I didn't have Q from the start. What the hell? Ah, oh, damn it, this minion. No! You're kidding me! Dude, this should be my kill! Oh, I'm so sad. What the hell? Ah, didn't, couldn't even get that kill either. Oh, what a tilt. I didn't even get, a, get an assist from Tristana, man. Holy shit, I just flashed right into the Nautilus ult at the exact timing it was knocking up. But I just meant to do a flash and an instant auto. Fuck me. Yeah, at least I get one plating, solo plating. Maybe two. Oh god. Nice, I timed that perfectly. Okay, I'm dead here. Unless... Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> oh no, an Echo dies too. Fuck. Oh well. Yeah, I was deliberately timing my route there. Uh, what should I get here? I could sell this. I was timing my route there so that it would uh, keep King from ulting just long enough that he would also get then comboed by the uh, Echo stun. Because if I did it slightly sooner, he would have been unrooted long enough to avoid the stun. We'll get this. I needed a precise timing there of not rooting too early and not rooting too late either. Yeah, okay, nice. Could be good. Oof. Oh god, the exhaust. <laughs> and there's a cane here, of course there is. <laughs> Wait, so you're telling me she's still at exhaust? Nettle is still at ult? Oh my god, nice one. Like, oh my god, this game is a struggle. Nothing goes right for me. It's not gonna kill die there either.
Maybe I need to do a Q if I want to get the Master as ADC. At least as a Felios. I just really feel like playing as a Felios though. Oh god, she was visible because they cannot. That's unfortunate. There he is. Oh god, that hit. I'm dead. Oh, was. Yeah, it was extra fast thanks to Mobius, that's why he could do that. He hacked his flash and didn't get in range, but then he ran at me and continued to- and actually did manage to get in range because of the superior movement speed. This could also just be a little extremely unfortunate streak though, of just having really unplayable matchups with supports that do nothing to help me in the matchup. Because it's been basically three lanes in a row of facing hard engage, when engage supports are actually like the least popular kind of support right now, I think, in my experience. Yeah, should've gone mid, my bad. And if you are expecting to like lane against an engage support, I mean... Like surely it can't be that every game you support just troll picks, right? Surely? I was gonna go top and farm there as well. Cool, no farm for the hyper carry. Hmm. Shadow Assassin. Even with exhaust, I can't do anything if he's around. Oh god. Because if I exhaust his WQ, for example, even if I manage to exhaust in time, he then ults me and I still die. The exhaust won't last long enough to reduce his ult damage. Got him. Nope. <laughs> no fun exhausting. No way. Ah, damn. Well, could have gone worse. Oop. Actually, I'm just gonna try Collector a second. This game is already over anyway. I'll try it a second and see how it is from behind. If I can complete it. Because at least it'll help me secure kills, which is really important. One. Oh, that's a cloud mid. That can't have been a nice matchup for Kiana, especially because it's uh, he was stealth reveal. Anytime she went invisible, she would have been invisible. Oh my god. 
Literally, we everybody goes to the bot to get the ball in farm and then just leaves the jungler farming mid. Like, what? Nobody thought it might be smart to just get mid farm instead of sharing farm and ball, ball in. Kinda could easily go top and deal with uh, Tristana. There we go. Can't safely farm there though. I might just like rotate here to try and push the Kled if he is going to go aggressive. If he doesn't, then I just stay here. Oh. Yeah, so they were waiting for somebody to overextend there. I just lost farm because Kiana took the risk and I wasn't willing to. I don't know why they didn't just kill her. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I can just be spamming a Phyllis every game. It needs to be more situational than this. I'm dead. Okay, it's Lethality Club. There's a lot of burst. Okay, thank god he died there. <laughs> what the hell, nice one. Yeah, even if it's a bit unlucky that I keep getting these comps and supports every game, and like matchups as well. Like this time I actually deliberately opted into it, and that's just troll as fuck. I saw exactly what the comps were gonna be, and I still picked the fellas anyway. And you can see just how, like, unplayable it is. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> Got my best. Maybe I could have just walked away, maybe. Because I did have uh, Storm Wizard, didn't I? If I just rooted her, I might have been able to walk away. <coughs> All right, GG. All right, gamers, after three losses in a row in Aphelios, it's time to bring our win rate back in order with some server. We know they're in that brush because we saw them walk into it through there. So we'll land a nice Q onto the brand. The hell? Ooh, oh, if he hit that. Would have been so good. Alright, cool. We're playing the every server again. Uh, every server build. Run page at least. So we can have a decent chance at fighting back from a long distance here. Damn it. Actually, they're gonna be hitting level 2. Start backing off. Damn it, didn't get the brand and I didn't get the loss set. Off to a bad start in terms of hitting Qs and stacking my mana flow. Okay, not too bad. Did a spell shoot at that W though, it should have been easy. He might have E, in which case I should be prepared to dodge it at a short notice. He's probably got Q though because he hasn't used E yet. Really got Q. Doesn't matter, I don't need it for the cannon. Damn it. Okay. Oh well, we're doing our best to uh, set here. Our main reason for picking Sivir here, by the way, was it's pretty decent for the matchup in general. Like, I can very safely farm and clear waves. And it's pretty good with Bard because Bard is like very negative presence in lane compared to most supports. And Sivir is pretty good at playing independently. Ezreal is also good for that, but they picked Ezreal before me. And either way, I'm not as good at Ezreal as I am at Sivir, so. 
Nice one. Okay, he's coming back. I won't be able to crush this. Should crash the next wave though, and try and base. Let's <coughs> hope I can get away with it. Enough. If he's if he stays and freezes this, I might have to stay as well. Not bad. <laughs> okay, well we have to crash this again. At least they've missed they've uh, missed out on a lot of HP from this. Or we can mm, we could let them push this out. But the, the problem is, you know, we can't really do that because Ezreal has TP, so even if he gets pushed into a bad position, he can just recall and TP back with full HP. So his HP doesn't really make him vulnerable. Maybe I can just get away with choosing a base here, though. Yep, okay, if Ezreal is basing now, then this is perfect timing, so long as... Oh, dude, you're kidding me. That was so close. He must have vision there, right? He must have warded there when... We lost, saw him there, in the area. Nice. Yeah, Ezreal's back in lane, so that was my one chance to actually get a good recall to match his recall, his TP recall. <coughs> Eventually I'm gonna have to just accept that I have to drop a wave. Oop. Or we can just get a good recall thanks to Akali. Potentially, ooh. Careful Akali, oh lord. Dude, he was one kill away from getting a free kill there. Absolutely free. <laughs> that was not smart. Oh, come on. We gotta try it. I'll pop my potion. So there's reduced chances of him just being able to turn this. Alright, that should be a kill. Nice one, Bard. Well done. Now he has no TP. We can't crash this wave, but we can crash the next one for sure. Oh my god. Oh, it didn't stun him though. Yeah, I'm not quite gonna be able to kill Brand there. Unless... Okay, nice one. <laughs> Jeez. Now I need to base, I have no time to go for that plating. Okay, so, hmm, I should check this. But I don't believe Sivir's win rate was affected much with uh, Static Shiv. Yeah, it looks good so far. Nice. Hmm. Yeah, so funnily enough, for one rate <laughs> so far, this patch has actually gone up with the static shift nerf, which obviously doesn't make sense. I'm sure it'll go down eventually, but... I think the static shift nerf mainly affects... Oh, what the hell? ADCs with poor wave clear, or no wave clear, rather than the ADCs with great wave clear. The ADCs with great wave clear, static shift still continues to be just the push and, like, the exact push they need to, like, have completely un uninteractive wave clear. Caitlyn is another one. So for example, so for Aphelios, if I use my Static Shiv and it hits the entire wave, before, the casters would be one auto attack away from death. Now they are two auto attacks away from death. That sucks. That it greatly increases the time it takes me to clear an entire wave. Doubling the auto attacks it takes to kill all the casters. But on Sivir, if the minions all die to one W anyway, then there is no difference whatsoever. Or very minimal difference, at least. So for Caitlyn, if you auto-attack the wave and then one Q is all it takes to kill the costers, then there was no difference. Oh, 
Okay, we're already on full mana full stacks. Okay, I should be able to get all these lost hits. He's up against the wall, so super easy to hit. Why did that only hit him once though? That's weird. I feel like I should have hit twice. Yeah, so some people say like, isn't static shove overkill on server? I mean, does that look overkill to you? These minions, so you, this is a perfect example as well of what I'm saying. These minions are below 150 HP, and Static Chef does 150 damage. So despite the nerf, it's still like more than sufficient. How badly the Static Chef nerf affected your champion really just depends on like your champion's breakpoints at whatever parts of the game. Like at what point does a nerf actually really affect your wave clear, as opposed to just being less overkill? Oh, okay. I would have preferred the base here. Ugh. There we go. Oh. Was that Lissandra? Ooh, nice one, Bard. Oh, and there's also a Rek'Sai. Oh, this is so risky. I shouldn't be doing this. Okay, I'm fine. Just wanted to be sure that I'm safe shoving this wave. Uh, look, the static shift felt like it would be overkill on these minions. No, it absolutely helps with Silver's early wave clear. It's fantastic on Silver early. Okay, I'm gonna base here. Static Shiv is just the extra push that Sivir needs to be completely uninteractive where she can clear an entire wave with just her W. And then uh, once you have more levels as well, it means that instead of being able to clear the wave in like five autos with your W, suddenly you can do it in two. Which means you have to like spend less time committed to the wave. So if you're getting like zoned or pressured or something, it takes you less time to clear that. He doesn't need to farm this if he's going to be freezing, by the way. Oh well. So yeah, it's just that a little extra push. One more wave and I'll cash out my coal. <laughs> he walks into Bard. <laughs> Go over the second part of my queue. Gotta be careful here, though. Like, we could get ganked by Rek'Sai from there. Oh, so that's an average top, by the way. I thought that was gonna be average jungle on Rek'Sai top. I think Rek'Sai top is the thing. Am I gonna die here? Potentially. I'm ulting just to speed up my teammates. In case it was necessary. Nice. Damn. Oh, hello. I didn't mean to take that portal. Ooh. Oh, nice one, Kane. Let's go. I'm gonna get another plating. I should have Drake. What a play. Alright, I'm out. No, I straight up want a base. They're gonna be here eventually. The one I overstay. I got so much gold. You 
Okay, the Scorch really helps with your laning phase, I gotta say. More effective onto like less champ your uh, less tank your opponents though. Whereas their ball in is both very squishy. Again. Oh my god, they keep diving them relentlessly. Nice. Four enemy dude, this is the treatment that we get it. Well, not even that. No, my my games weren't even like getting like camped as hard, but they felt equally unplayable just because of the particular 2v2 matchup. They're gonna get a taste of how I felt in the previous two games. Ooh. Oh, and I got him. <laughs> Holy shit. Poor Ezreal. I swear to god, I have the reaction time to spell shield the Lissandra ult. No cap. If she had thrown ult on me, I would have spell shielded it. I've done it so many times, not even prediction, just reaction time. There's actually an animation that you can react to if you're fast enough. Nice, I'm gonna worry. The only awkward thing is if she's doing it like in the middle of like a bunch of other spells, then, it's, then it gets hard to identify when she's casting ult and also timing it. So that it doesn't get blocked by another, or that your spell shield doesn't like block a different ability instead. But if she's just like flash ulting you, you can actually react to that. Oh boy. I'm gonna shove in a mid wave. Wait for the Scorch, and we're going. Dude, he's off HP from 1Q. It's brutal. Oof, that landed. Nice, it might have hit both ways as well. That only hit one way. It'd be a lot lower than that otherwise. <laughs> I don't know about this one, Kane. He kills Ezreal, but at the cost of a shutdown. Block the Rek'Sai thing for a bard. Can spell shield it. Oh, she's not even going for that. Oh, I thought she smite me there. Okay, well... Ooh, I could try Collector here. Ooh, Collector would be nuts, actually. Yeah, we're gonna do Collector.
I guess I should join there. No, it looks good. Got him. And he's still there. Iron? He's gotta be trolling, surely. Nice one. I think he just consumed the camp. Bear in mind as well, we've probably done more damage with Static Shift so far than we would have with Kraken Slayer. Oh, where did she go? Oh, she must have thrown any backwards that I didn't see. So even though the wave clear falls off, like at least you go through a period where you're just doing more damage to Static Shiv than with Kraken Slayer. It actually is doing more damage on the champions than on the minions now. Stop, board. Um, we can't really keep up extending here. I suppose it's worth selling coal for a collector. Actually, make up for seven of the of the five lost AD. No, for five of the seven lost AD from coal through my mythic passive anyway by completing a legendary item. Got him. Should be able to get him. Hopefully, we'll, I'll ult just in case, though. In case we need it. Got him. Cool. I'll shove another wave. Um, definitely without our teammates, we can't really keep pushing there. They could push out a mid-wave and then come bot lane, though. Okay, at least we got Kane here anyway. Well, we had. The other guys can just keep splitting with Baron, that's fine as well. We don't have to fully group. Oh, my bad. Oh, oh, he's dead to the W, holy shit. That collector paid off hard. <laughs> See, the really underrated thing about collector is people, like, don't really count the 25 gold you got per kill, but they also don't count the gold that you got just because you got an execute that otherwise you would not have had so right now collector didn't cost me 300 gold collector has now officially gone to like uh let's see 300 plus 25 minus 3000 so it's cost me 2650 yeah i'm now 325 gold closer to my next item which i would not be if i like had built lord dominix or phantom dancer or anything. Oh. Ah, this is such a waste. She's gonna go through the wall anyway. Not even. Still can't catch her anyway, though. Back 
Oh, what the hell? Okay, well, I love. And I just never run out of mana with the setup as well, it's so nice. Between presence of mind and mana flow, just constantly regenerating more and more mana. <laughs> Alright, I'm out of here. Do I wait for the gold? I guess so. It's awkward, but it's probably worth. I'm also going to farm the golems on the way there. Even if there's a fight, like, I'm not going to reach it in the time it takes me to farm golems anyway, so. Ooh, I think he's fine, maybe. Oh. I mean, he might not be, but he might take somebody down with him. Multiple people down with him, even. Holy shit. Nice one. <laughs> I just spawned. Oh, wait, I didn't spawn, brother. I recalled. Whatever, it's not worth correcting. Let's see if I can get this, though. If we get triple inhibs, it's gonna be devastating for them. Ah, oh, did my spell show too early. I was expecting him to instantly use E. Should have hit that plant just so they couldn't use it. Oh well. Yep, these triple inhibs are devastating for them. That's nice two super minions per spawn, which is super hard to actually kill, especially when you don't have Nexus turrets. So we just need to walk down a lane, and it's GG. Should've spawned should have that. Nice. <laughs> Alright, GG. Alright, gamers, we are back for another game of ADC to Diamond. This game playing Senna. Alright, I'm not gonna go with the invade then. Yeah, you're gonna be playing Senna Nautilus into Twitch Lulu. Round one of them. I was going to say Twitch might pop up and stealth. <laughs> oh, are we actually going to have to leech? This is so annoying, especially because we have to pop the revision to do it. So they're not releasing. <laughs> yeah, no, that change has not gone through yet. You can ping for now. Sure. Extra five gold in the pocket, why not? Yeah, pick and set off. 
We can send into Twitch Lulu once again. Because she's pretty good into Enchanter lanes and pretty good against Twitch. Oh my god, did I misclick a minion there again? Just gonna poke with Q for now. Nice one. Oh, what the hell? Nice one. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. The more we trade, the more favorable this is to me. You love to pick some in lanes where you can actually trade and not just get stomped. Because then you just keep... Keep picking up more, more and more mist. Ah, did it too late to pick up the mist from him? There we go. That should be a kill. Nice one, Nautilus. That might even be a kill as well. Wait. Ooh, okay. Nice one. Yeah, I thought I had mana for Q already, my bad. Alright, we'll just get this plating and leave. No need to shove that with. Although maybe one minion would have been nice just so I could get no cover, but a well. We'll just pick up... Ooh, Static Shift did get nerfed. Hmm, maybe we'll do Storm Razor instead. Storm Razor should also be decent on her. But Static Shift was very satisfying because it removed her one big weakness. Lack of Wave Claire. Hmm, we'll just try it out on her. She gets a lot of AD anyway, so maybe the nerf didn't actually affect her much. We should at least test that and see. We're already getting 9 extra AD from Mist, so... Ten extra AD from Mist. Got to hit Lulu there. That could be good. Nice one. Holy shit, there's just mist after mist. Oh my god, what is up with all of this mist? That was the biggest streak of mist I've ever seen. And some of it was even on minions I was lost hitting. Really, we should kill Twitch, who's their highest DPS. There we go. Nice one. Let's just get Salas real quick. Nice, I crit him. Okay, not quite gonna be able to finish her. Not bad, though. Definitely worth <laughs> missing out on a cannon wave for, I guess. Got the mist. You can see, against the Lulu, we're just not afraid of the trades at all. Even if, even though she trades kind of hard, we just heal it up anyway. And she doesn't have good, like, extended trades, which is what you really want against Senna. You don't, you, like, don't really, uh, you can't really shine too much against her in very short trades, just, just because of how strong her heal is in short trades. You need more than that to pressure her properly, and you can't stop her from trading with you, and you, like, you don't heavily win the trades. Then she just keeps stacking more and more mist. And that's a very underrated source of mist for Senna as well, is just trading. It's not just about what you pick up from farming or not farming.
Oh, I just barely hit him. Oh, God. Yeah, well, I'm fine. Okay, maybe I took greedy pathing here. Fuck it, I'm dead. Okay, at least that's the Lulu. Fuck. Yeah, so I was, my thought process there was Zaki is definitely on cooldown. Nothing to worry about. Didn't expect Lulu to just basically one shot me there. She played it smart. She saw in advance that I was walking there and she walked into melee range to make sure she would have vision of me. Which is another thing that baited me into thinking I was fine there is the fact that uh, because I was going to be invisible there. You know, in theory, nobody can touch me, right? Until Lulu walked into melee range. She read me like a book. My bad. On the bright side, though, that was a 500 gold shutdown. It's not like you want to hand over shutdowns on purpose, but... I mean, if you do have to hand one over, at least it's to the support. Okay, I didn't quite get to see there whether the nerf has already impacted Senna. Here we go. Oh, what? That still didn't bounce on the casters. This is so annoying, man. <laughs> you don't want to waste your hook cooldown like that, buddy. Okay, here we go. Does this one shot the caster? It does! Okay, so that nerf barely affected Senna then. Awesome. It affected ADCs more. When It affected more the ADCs that don't one shot the casters now when they auto attack. Yeah, man. I bet you Twitch will just randomly appear in vision here and, and stealth. Oh no, okay. Oh, well that kind of gives me away. There we go. Oh. Oh no, no, that's our jungler. I thought that was Zach. Nice one. Thank you for the mist. We still live, haven't even had to live, like rely on the interaction that actually makes Senna quite good into Twitch. Which is just that when he ults, we can just use E. And suddenly he can't auto attack us unless he's in melee range, which defeats the purpose of him having 800 range during his ultimate. Hello. Got him. <laughs> Through the ward. I should definitely base now, though. Oh, wow. Top lane has already got his turret. He is destroying top lane. What the hell? And that was without the Herald as well. How does he have every turret? That's crazy. Alright, we now got 398 movement speed. It would be faster when we're all attacking champions as well, as part of our Moom speed stealing passive. Ugh. Yep, very little impact of this nerf Asana. Good shit. She remains viable. Well, she would be viable with Storm Reserve as well anyway, I, th I think, but this is much more satisfying in my opinion. Okay, Zack is on the way bot, he's probably gonna gank. I can shove this real fast. He's gonna be trying to engage now, yeah. So there's a pink in there. We gotta be very careful. We can't really fight until we've cleared that, but we also can't clear that if we're alone, because if we walk up and Zack is there, then it's a 2v3. We don't want to fight, man. Chill. We have to play safe during this small window where we know our jungler's top side and we know their jungler's plot side. Look, he's still there. He's ex exactly hoping we would engage. And it's predictable that we would want to, because we're the winning bot lane, so of course we want to fight, but we can't. We need to recognize that. Oh, 
Oh man, it did affect um being able to oh. Okay. Yeah, it did affect being able to um insta clear the wave with auto Q. So one thing the static ship nerfed did, but we are gonna be able to do it after one more AD item anyway. We could risk it now because their bot lane is clearly not contesting this pink. Nice. And we see Zach. Ooh. Can I ult the Zach blobs? I cannot. Okay, good to know, good to know. What a waste. <laughs> but now we know. Nice one, he should be dead here. Oh, come on, my auto attack was interrupted. No, you're kidding me. Jeez. Yeah, my auto attack was interrupted by our polymorph. Oh well. Ah, uh, that's a TP, shit. I need the ghost? I think I do. Nice one. Damn it. Okay. Pretty good fight for us overall though. Woo. Shit, <laughs> I think I would just flash away, man. Okay. Oh my lord. Oh my god, so much missed this game. Right have blessed me. I think I just need to base here despite the freeze. I can't really risk it. We see Zach now, but he can still engage so easily. I choose to commit for that. Hmm. Didn't pull him through the wall. He still gets him, jeez. I still need to like learn what Santi does properly. Especially during his ult, I have no idea what he does. Oh biggie, at least I got a few missed from that. Now we have 60 mist. We're on 660 range. And now we watch with the whips. Oh my god. Okay, we juked it. Should be fine now. Oh god. Sheesh. Okay. Yeah, that was a risk I failed to consider. At least it worked out. I could do with farming this wave for my coal. Another downside of the static shift nerf is that no longer is it the case that two static shift procs kill a full caster line either. Oop. Nice. Yeah, now no matter what, even if, even like after the static shift proc, you need to at least use one with their ability or like autos. Go to Costa line. You would need three static shift procs to clear the costers. Oh, we can get this. I'm not sure Xanthi wanted to do that. Ooh. 
Lord to help out the Kasanti. Nice one. Got him. Yep. God, I swear to God, Senna is just the ultimate push Lulu counter. Beats them in short trades and then just runs away from his from the long range engages. With ult. I healed him. Okay. Don't shove him to me. Or I mean do, but it was selfish though. Effective, but selfish. Oh god, oh, okay, it's fine. Oh no, what a time to take a throw shot. Twitch cancel the stealth or what? Should have had a reset. <laughs> Wait, jeez, I'm sitting on 5,000 gold. My god. I don't even have time to pick a miss because this fight is just never ending. <laughs> no. Got him. Is it finally over? It may not be over. Ah, can't quite finish her. Alright. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Oh god. Thank you for the peel. What the hell? Give me that shield. What? Wait, Santi gives shields to his allies? News to me. When was the last time I had 6,000 gold, man? Jeez. 7,000. Alright, GG, what a game. <laughs> Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Sivir, okay? You could have made it clearer you were gonna start that. <laughs> Alright, gonna be playing Sivir Renata into Kaisa Brand. You know what I realized actually? Sivir is really good into Brand. Because uh, even if you manage to, even if you like fail to spell shield the first skill shield he throws at you, like W, you can still spell shield the Q, and if you spell shield the W, but then he hits you with the Q, it doesn't matter because you haven't been hit by the first ability. His, his abilities really, like, work off of each other, so the moment you spell shield one, it kind of screws him. He also can't get his passive pre-6 if you spell shield just one of his abilities. Champion just does not work at full effectiveness against Sivir. So that's nice. We're also running Amara in this lane, by the way. I figure most of their, well, a lot of their, if not most of their di damage pre six is going to be Brand, or at least in the early levels, period. And then their jungler is AP damage, and their mid laner is AP damage. So they actually have more magic damage than physical damage. So it just makes more sense to run magic damage, or, uh, you know, MR, even if our lane opponent is AD. Or 
Where the hell is Brend anyway? Oh, I shouldn't have thrown that before my mana flow was available any again anyway. There he is. Oh, dude, I thought that was him throwing you. My bad. He is what I was expecting since I had minion cover anyway. There was no point in him throwing Q. Poppy Ghost already. I don't have spell shields, so... Oh, come on, my special didn't cost there because I was busy casting Q. Alright, we need to back off because Sidrani could flank us. We, like, bait her into coming, to, in, coming into flank position, or at least try to. And then we start backing off, so she's wasting her time. I should try to punish it. Basing here is really nice if he manages to drag all these four minions. Yeah, I think I'll just base. Nice one. Do a triple longsword here. It'll be super nice for poke. Oof, close one. Yep, and you see, they just missed out on an entire wave. I've got almost an entire wave waiting for me. It sadly could have been, could have done with being, um, wasn't a little bit further out, which meant Renata should have just tanked the aggro a little bit longer, but no biggie. We just missed some melees and overall still benefit more than them. Nice, that's a kill for me. Should be able to get Kaisa too. Never mind, no, I can't. Damn it. No, oh, well. Maybe if I'd flash down her sooner. Just having no Q was a bit awkward though. Okay, we're on a really good pace here. Uh, I thought I would have a bigger CS lead over Kaisa, but well. At least we get a kill. They gotta be careful, because Kaisa for sure can follow, and there's, like, Renata's fighting over a pink ward here when it could get her killed. Might also get Brand killed, hopefully it does. But considering she knew Ka Echo was really far back and we had no idea where Kaisa was, I would say this just worked in hindsight, but was a terrible call, though. It was a complete gamble that Kaisa wouldn't be nearer than Brent. Uh, nearer than Echo. Oh, that actually landed. I'm not entirely sure. There's something that feels off to me about Cass's movements, honestly. Like, 
She's not like dodging things to a realist realistically high standard. Like she gets hit by a lot, but I don't know. Like it just feels robotic somehow still. Sometimes even if she dodges late, it just feels like she dodges like the exact like right angle anyway. Not perfectly timed, but at the really perfectly angled, if that makes sense. She's still getting hit by a lot, so I guess I can't pl complain, but I don't know. I'm gonna keep an eye on it. See, that one did not seem robot-like at all, though. Yeah, now, so, now that I mentioned it, now she just stops doing it. Nice. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's just nothing. My brand just walked inside the turret. Nice one, ow. Oh, there's one minion left. Oh, this is so awkward. Yep, they shove it in. I'm just making sure that I can flank him. Does he know I'm here? Ooh, damn. No, now I don't get the kill. Oh well. Got no farm as well. <laughs> it would have been nice to get the kill. Oh well. We got static ship already. I should shove another wave though. Oh, it's kind of wave. Yeah, whatever. Just till we get to shove it in fast. And playing Sivir. There we go. Top done now, by the way. Wasn't she stomping earlier? An ally has been slain. Weak side. Is okay. If Shakespeare were playing Echo. Oh man. Not HP. Sun mid. I've been seeing a lot of sun mids. I just want to say I was the innovator of that. I was playing sun mid and flex cube months ago. My bad. Okay, so that was... Oh, that could have been either one of their words. Probably Brand, he was nearest. Ow. Well, I knew that wasn't gonna kill me. Wait, that hit her? What the hell? Oh no. But we got her, we got her. Yes, and it goes to me. Holy shit, that was scary a little bit. That E was pure prediction. I could just tell she was turning on me for her W. Obviously, I can't react to it because the first part is instant. Wait, he might... Okay, he didn't quite die to that, but that was risky. At W bounces with, uh... Airy. <laughs> and Brand was there on like 10% HP. Okay, now I got a hell of a CS lead. Actually, Dagger is better. May give less Q poke, but it gives way more W poke. Please gank the all cause of no mobility. Yeah, because ganking the scion is gonna win us the game. Get the scion fed. Holy shit, that worked pretty effectively though. I won't lie. <laughs> <laughs> K 
Okay, Brand is mid. Yeah, I haven't noticed everything anything since I mentioned her movement fault off. This bitch is listening to this bitch is hacking my PC to listen to what I'm saying. To turn off her scripts. Now that was a nice auto poke. Ooh, that was exactly as I took my hand off the keyboard to scratch my eyebrow. It's a good thing I dodged that. Thank you for the five. No, ten gold. Should let Renata get that. Nice. <laughs> I forgot my static ship was gonna get it. Ah, fuck. No biggie. Damn it, if I had Q slightly sooner. Oh, so close. spend my gold but this mid lane turret is actually so close to dying i think we can just rotate there very quickly it's a kind of wave as well we could get there in time i was gonna wipe it out before i even get there how oh, annoying and he's dead Oop. although i failed to notice that he was knocking me up i thought it was just his w nice one now just gonna wait for the next wave and hopefully that's the turret Wait, what? Oh, Scorch. Bro. Ah, should have been the turret. Again. I got Ghost and Bolt as well in case. I get ganked by Sidrani. Exactly. The Sidrani's not blind and she can see when my support is abandoning me. This time the turret is minus, swear to god. I might get ganked on the right side by Kaiser though, we'll see. We can use the W reset just to make sure I get that as fast as possible to give them as little time to gank me as possible. Looks like we're alright though, cool. I'll go ahead and shove this last wave and then either go to the Herald if necessary, or otherwise just recall. Looks like we can just recall. Nice one, Sion. Just in case. You can go for the Skoto Crab. Oh, does Sidrani have blue up? Nope. She does have Gromp up though. I guess she's starting with wolves? Wait, where is she? What the hell?
I guess we can get the turret, so I left it nice and low. Nice. I can get one more whiff. In theory. Oh, come on, my attack speed, my bad. I should have flashed that. Ah, oh, but really, guys. I just wanted to shove one away. I was even pinging for help. Oh my god, his damage. Son is just not in an okay state right now. Collector. Alright, how big was that shutdown? Ah, not too bad actually. Thought it would be bigger just because I had a massive CS lead. I can go mid. Yep. Gonna go get the wolves too. Then I can get mid lane farm, then I can get the red buff. Never mind. I think we popped the top. Um flanking is a little bit risky, I think. I could run into Sidrani. My bad. There we go. I gotta avoid pathing through the drone now that we have no vision again. I wouldn't have actually touched those wards if I knew we were going to do Baron. Wouldn't want to give them information about where we are. You know, being on the Baron. Okay, cool. Next up, if we want to do full damage, get a Phantom Dancer or Dominix. I would say Phantom Dancer would be best in a game like this, where they don't really have too much armor. I mean, damage is perfectly fine. So we can go with Phantom Dancer for some more cutting effectiveness and better wave clear, theoretically. Wave clear is perfectly fine as well as it is, but no harm in it getting better. Actually, I could have blocked Volka's Q, although that would be hard, actually. Oh. Nice. S 
See, why don't the fat echoes on my team just completely one-shot people? It's only the echoes playing against me that one-shot me. Oh my god. I got an execute on Valkos, let's go. <laughs> Did to focus my Qs on Kai'Sa, even if I'm focusing Sidroni. Got her. Yeah, the fucking Static Shove and Collect combo is no joke. <laughs> Nice. Alright, GG. God, these server games are so easy. Alright, gamers, we are back with a nil advised invade. 4v5, let's do it. Okay, 4v4. Both teams lacking a top laner. Hello, Zeri. <laughs> no, Viego! How would you do that? Should be alone here, right? Yeah. Okay, who got that kill? Ari, not bad. The one who invested her flash and started E, so maybe that's for the best. At least she gets something for her investment. Even if I flash, it's okay if she got out with her ghost head. Bad logic, buddy, because any of us range champions could have flashed after her and finished her off. <laughs> He flashed through because he wanted to be the one to get the kill. Anyway, for once we actually have a decent matchup. The Zeri Nautilus is not gonna like blow us up from full HP, usually, at least. And Thrash is actually pretty good with the Felios, so. We're still not level 2. Oh wait, oh we are. What the hell? Wait, oh I am, but Rush isn't. He must have missed some XP somewhere. Okay. Curious decision to engage there of all times. We'll just keep hammering our way at Zuri while we have the Conqueror stacks. And he's dead. Holy shit. <laughs> I had Conqueror stack the whole time. That was satisfying. Bro, I just want to shove this out. Leave me alone, Kha'Zix. They're gonna freeze this. Or do we have a lantern? Yeah. Ooh, nice. Dude, that actually could have been a kill on Kha'Zix if he landed that. Sad. Alright, uh, space. We could maybe try- I'm gonna- I think I'm gonna try a static shove again. We're just gonna confirm that it works the way that I think it does now. But first I'll do Berserker so I can walk into lane faster here.
Just so happens to be I have the proper amount of gold for that anyway. First that minion demetralizer made my base worse than it should have been. Okay, we still do still get a lot of XP and a decent amount of lost heads as well, I guess. Rash. Okay. Because we're gonna, I'm gonna be maxing as well uh, Q into E rather than my regular W press to Q into W. So we're gonna be fully maxing out Q, and hopefully with that extra amount of AD, it should mean that we one shot Costers even with the static shift nerf. Decent. Oh, did I take a tower shot? Sure did. Nice. Decent poke damage on Ziri. Yeah. Could be good. Nice. That's one kill. Let's go, team. Well played. Wow. An actually non terrible early game of Felios game. What, what is going on here? This game is actually playable. Man, a fellas, one chicken a fellas must fucking suck, man. If you just have to pick him into every situation rather than just reserving him for good games like I did here. <laughs> Still don't quite have enough for. Uncover. I'll just do triple longsword. Once again, that damn dematerializer, bro. Zero wave curse sucks. She should not get the shoving cannon waves this easily. Oh, I almost had it. I could taste it. Fuck, should have tried to save on Mo for a triple weapon combo. Oh well. Oh boy. Nice one. I need to use green. No, I need to use white. He didn't move. Weirdo. Look okay. him. Man! Whatever. At least I got him low. I don't really want to base though. Dude. If we based here, that was that would have been the second time. No, third time. We managed to shove any kind of wave extra fast. Come on. Bru what? I don't know why I couldn't target it there. What the hell? Was it just a regular delay from weapon swap or what? Okay. Hopefully Thresh has him. Oh, no. Okay, they got each other. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, I'll do this instead. Let me see that. Uh, what I meant to do was flash Q auto. Flash blue Q auto. What happened? 
That was flash Q, and then... So I got CC'd. That, but, what? I swear my auto attacks were bugging. There should have been an auto there, but there's like some weird animation instead. I don't know. I'm not, I'm, I think I also should have been able to auto before the CC, but I'm not 100% sure without slowing it down. Oh well. How big was my shutdown? Oh, fucking 300, man. Close. She actually has a static shot before me. Well, she doesn't have Berserkers. Jeez. Oh, dude, I had pushing in the wrong slot. Fuck. I hate it when that happens. Oh my god, I could have died to that. My bad. Gonna ward behind me. I'm nearly good old, by the way. Hang on. Nah, but I'm so upset, man. It's, this is gonna be an execute as well as the worst part. Fuck me. My ultimate, if I had just come half a second sooner, she'd have been dead. Probably without even getting to kill me. She has no fucking idea how lucky she is. Fuck, I hate, hate it when that happens, man. When an enemy gets that lucky and they don't even know it. God. Fuck, I should have just settled for the Q. There was a chance I could just root her from long range. Yeah, so that's that's the, that's the like the thing I should have done since my idea of just ulting her wasn't gonna happen because of my two second cooldown here. And she ghosted to reach me faster as well. Fuck, but she had no idea how close my ultimate was, man. Ugh, I hate it. But yeah, I should have just blue queued for, like as soon as she entered range, since it has a longer range than my autos, and then immediately switched to purple and root her there, and hopefully, I mean, I, I she would probably kill me anyway, to be fair, because I needed the like high range of my ult and the instant burst of RQ. But at the very least, it would be a one for one trade guaranteed, and maybe even in, like me straight up killing her. I just panicked because my plan to ult her was just like so barely not gonna work. Um, I'm on the way. Nautilus has Hex Flash, so he doesn't have regular Flash to escape. Yeah, oh well. Fuck, I still don't have Static Ship like Zeri. In fact, she showed up ahead of me now. Fuck, that blows just because of one shot down. Which happened arguably because of a bug. Gonna get rid of purple. Just gonna try and dash through, maybe. Okay, now I can base. Or we can cheese with Thresh. See what he does. Sorry, we want the gank. Okay, she has no E now. Got her. He's trying to bait his hook there. Could take down this turret. Maybe. Ah, let's play it safe. I got so much gold anyway, let's spend that. Wait, where's the ward I just saw them place? Go get her. Oh, I'm actually one shotting this. I am actually, but that's unusual circumstances because also happened to finish my BF sword. You know what? Static Shift nerf probably wasn't that bad though, actually. Two hundred and three HP. How much damage am I dealing? It's probably only because of the BF sword, but we'll see.
Oof. <laughs> Dealing 218 damage. Yeah, the BF sword is doing a lot of heavy lifting here. Not just my Q points. We'll keep testing it, to be fair. And in a game like this, I can do Infinity Edge. This might be enough to get her killed. She was three. Maybe not. Oh my god. Oh, you're kidding me. Wait, what? What the hell? Got him? Ah, but now she's got me. Fuck. Yeah, okay, Ori's, Ori's on the way. Dude, how did my ult miss Kha'Zix, though? Like, what? It looks like it was about to hit him, then he goes invisible, and it's like he goes... Like, um... Uh, untargetable, because it, it looks like it should have hit him. I was so confused. I guess it's just the speed boost from his ultimate just barely helped him edge it out when it looked like he was gonna get hit. Uh, I should go mid actually. Or should I? Wait, what the hell is Ari doing? Wh okay, I think she's alive at least. Jeez, also terribly played no matter what happened. No, Thrash! Oh, shit. My bad. Come on. <laughs> Wait, really? Ah, oh, she just queued me through the minions. I was hoping they would block. Oh, well. Dude, I'm so sad I didn't get out of the kill there. It's crazy. Oh, but it would be so much better if you were playing, if I was playing a fellas either with a pre-made or... At the very least, a support would understand when I'm about to root someone. Like, I'm literally hitting her with a root combo, and he throws a hook at her before she's rooted. Wait for my CC and then CC her, then it's free. Alright, we can sell Cole. I can go top, I guess? I swear to god, if I get dived, I'm gonna be so upset. Fuck, I can't rid him. Holy shit, he's dead. Wait, is he? What? Wait, did my ult not hit him? Wait, I'm so confused. I would revise it, but I can't. Huh? Super confusing. I swear to god, like, I just straight up missed out on the auto attack for my R. My blue R. Unless I accidentally purple ulted. Oh my god. She did not know I was doing that when she used her W. I need to wait for the wave to show up so I can live still. Yeah, I healed. Got her. Ugh. Damn it. Okay, not bad. I'm going bloodthirster. I need sustain for this for actually fighting this area, so even if she gets me a little below I can just life still back up and be okay. Went out in the long con. Ooh, that's such a dirty combo. I can't wait for them to remove Everfrost. I really hope they remove Everfrost when they remove the Mythics. One of my least favorite items. Two face.
Uh, time crunch should have gone top. Bro, no wonder he started off winning lane, but now he's behind in Siesta Garen. Like, no wonder if he comes mid, like, share farm with the ADC. These, min these minis are dying to no one, man. I'm tilted on his behalf. There we go. Ah, fuck me. Threw the combo like at the two of them, one right between them. Really? Got him. <laughs> oh, what the hell, Garen? Oh, jeez, he had a fucking Herald. Hello. Okay, Garen, what the fuck are you? He's a fucking psycho is what he is. I can't chase her. Her anti chasing. Oh my god. No, oh, but you can't just pull her into me, man. <laughs> Fuck, I got bit. If I walked in the opposite direction of the lantern, I would have been fine. Yikes. Not bad. Okay, she dies. Fucking hell. How much did she use there? Did she use a flash? I don't think she needed to. Let me double check. Oh, this is past 18 seconds. Nice one, guys. Yeah, I can't really chase Zera here because she could just fire cues into me while running away from me and then I'm eating a ton of damage. Oh, it's so ridiculous that Kali can just so easily catch me from out of screen, man. Yeah, she didn't need the flash. I ran the moment she was on my screen, bro. Hope Protobalt also, also goes with the Mythic rework. Really does feel like I'm playing against Adams more than I'm playing against champions sometimes. I need to ignore this wave and try and help with the fight. Ooh, the fight might already be over. I got blue though. I could probably win here. If they would actually fight me, but I don't think they're going to. Fuck. If I get flanked here, it's bad. I need to fight them all straight on so I can AoE with blue. Okay, that blows. At least we got the Drake. I'm gonna... Oh, what the hell? I'm dead now. Fuck's sake, bro. Really? Oh my god. Fuck. She wasn't anywhere that I saw. It was all Kha'Zix. Yeah, du dude, she was over here. Fuck me. You guys need to defend against this guy, by the way. Damn it.
Your guys are fighting over nothing right now when I'm not around. Oh, right between all of them. Oh, that's so frustrating. Here we got Zeri. Oh, this Garen is way too fast. Oh my god, I got the kill with Static Shove. Okay, jeez, holy shit, that went way too well considering the fight that, like, the majority of the fight happened without me, and then I even missed my ult. God, we did not deserve to win that. Yeah, every time I look at the scoreboard, I can just fall in more and more behind Garen. I need to actually match him a little bit. Not even just match him, but just, like, go top lane whenever there's free farm as well. He doesn't want to do it. I'm so close to Lord Dominic's, then my damage is going to be insane. already. I was just looking to see if I could combo someone there. Against the steep as well, he really doesn't need to be permanently mid. I am. That feels like such bait. I'm not taking that. Oh, hello. Got her. He's dead. Got him. Let's go. Oh, fucking Garen. Yeah, probably two people recalling for him is ideal. Any one person I don't think is gonna be enough. And... Might be doable. I don't think so though. No, we just get inhib. Which is sad that we just get one for one inhib, but... There's not a shot, we get all of it. Get out now. It's both Nautilus and Akali. We can get Sol though. Oh, what the hell? Nice. Holy fuck, my damage is literally just so crazy after Lord Dominic's man. Close. Oh, my weapon switch! Jeez. Wait, that could have been a penta almost. If you know. It were different circumstances where she was actually killable. Okay, now she's killable. Let's go! Nice one, team. <laughs> well played, Thresh. The Ophelios Redemption. From the three game loss streak on Ophelios to this game. GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Aphelios. Gonna be playing Aphelios Soraka and two Kaisa Lux. We already know Lux is in that brush at least. Oh man. It's work with to actually interact, please. There we go. Could also be hitting the minions, which is what I actually pinged, but... Oh, I missed that. I 
I don't know, man. You can get very far in support without knowing you're supposed to be also pushing for the level 2. Kind of a waste of my Q, my bad. Oh, hello. Damn. That's for Viego. For Viego. A little root Kaiser here as well. Wait, you're kidding me? She actually flanked? Wait, my bad, I didn't see that coming. I thought you would be going back mid. Fuck. Oh, she was just chilling. Recalling there. Then Soraka canceled her recall. Oh, she was- oh, she was gonna- oh, wait, okay, that's a little bit unlucky. So she wasn't actually intending to gank? The, she, 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 the only reason she like, quote unquote, stuck around for so long was she was actually recalling. Then Soraka cancelled a recall and she was like, well, I can get Kalphelios now. Ah, fuck man, that's not necessarily Soraka's fault. Like, I think, it, like, theoretically if she wanted the base there, then it's good to cancel her base, but fuck, that's so inconvenient for me. Who had just assumed she had left. Yeah, well. What a start for the Tristana. Okay, nice. Somebody gets that shut down. They got one pink ward. Ooh, that could be good. Got her. Let's go. Huge. Oof. Not bad. See if she greets for a minion here. I lost it. We've got plenty of time to crush, uh, crash this. Alright, here we go. How do I miss the cannon? Fuck. Please don't cut some of my face. Nice. Conqueror actually got me the luck skill as well. If I'd been running fleet, I would not have had that. I feel like PT and Conqueror actually make more sense when you, like, naturally, like, how to take full advantage of your abilities and combos. PT would have also been fine there. I would have also got the kill. Well, the PT would have left her a little bit lower initially, and then she might have flashed away. Sooner. Could be the Conqueror is the only way I actually got this kill.
might be this cannon. I'll block it if she does. There we go. Nice. That's worth. Oh, how do I keep missing cannons like this? Oh, fuck. Can we get healing at least? When I fully run down red, I can do a triple weapon combo and try and one-shot Kaisa with it. So I'm gonna keep running down red as fast as I can. I basically need to do four more autos, then I can queue. But I need minions to set it up on. It's riskier to use red Q on a champion, on this HP at least. Alright, here we go. They're gonna have a... Oop. Okay, that's mid. They're gonna have a lot of mini cover though. Or are they? Oh, dude. Ah, I keep missing up the combo, I keep missing the Q. Careful. Okay, not bad, not bad. At least I had it with the ult. Lux. Okay. DC, I guess. I'll take it. God damn it. How long does the delay have to be after you run out of red to do green Q? Alright, that's probably as far as we want to shove. Or actually... No, actually. How much do I need? 200 gold. In theory, if I shove this melee... At least the melees? Oh, nice. If I get at least the melees, then I think I can sell refillable for static shove. Careful, Soraka. Nice. And that should be good enough. Hopefully I don't miss a wave in the process. Oh god. What? Wait, what the hell? My bad. I should have let her get under turret before we were her. But that's weird, I saw her jump animation, like, I, th I thought I saw her jump from here to here, but then she jumped again? Hello, Viego. <laughs> what a time to use Hurled, what the hell? What? Wait, is... trolling? I assume? Because that is a terrible time to use the Herald, and he went in 1v3. The castle was full HP there. Oh, he went on Tristana. Oh, I mean, he might not be trolling, he might just be incredibly greedy and n not have high enough IQ to do a proper Herald, I don't know. They might just be unrelated, the terrible Herald with the, uh, giving them a free kill there. Out. We should place a ward. I guess she doesn't have any vision. Uh, they have a pink there. They should. She should clear that. I want to shove the wave. Please, Raka. Please, just get the ward. We don't have vision until somebody clears that pink and I want to shove. Oh my god, how many times can I ping it before she gets the hint? I just want to recall now. Anyway. Well, actually, oh, Lux is mid. I can go get the splitting, I guess. She's gonna steal it, though. Yeah, that could have been all to me. That could be a bar ult for us. Yeah, there it is. Ooh, okay, good. Hello. Would have been nice to have vision for that, huh? I executed that come in the wrong order, but whatever. Okay, nice. So I should have done RQ instead of QR. Uh, the animation cancels. Well, actually, maybe it's the same. Actually, I need to check that out. I don't actually know for a fact that R doesn't cancel the Q animation. Maybe it does work in that order as well. 
You'd still rather do either way, though. RQ, just to make sure you don't accidentally run out of... Well, actually, I suppose it works either way. What would my next weapon have been? Red. It would have been a more damage RQ, though, in theory. If I was running out of uh, blue ammo and I used blue Q, it would make me switch weapons. And because the R animation animation cancels um, weapon swaps, it, it would have not delayed my ult, but it would have been a red ult instead of a blue ult, which is less damage. So yeah, you would rather do RQ than QR. Even if, even if, and that's a big if, the R actually animation cancels the blue Q. What the hell is going on? Dude, I should have kept pushing bot, but I didn't know Kaisa was going to go mid. I think like half their team is trolling at this point. I think both bot laners are. I think it started with Lux going mid because she was mad at Kaisa, and now Kaisa is just going mid because she refuses to lane 1v2. Because it just doesn't make sense to abandon a lane like this. Could be for me. Fuck it is. Yeah, I had to try. Maybe Melia fellas had a chance with white to beat Brara, but no luck. Maybe if I'd cleansed her CC. I don't think so, though. I think I would have needed ult. If I had ult and I cleansed her CC, then maybe I was gonna win that. Maybe. Oh boy. Oh, this is the classic, though, by the way. The absolute classic. So, either one or two bot, la bot laners start trolling and go mid. To Because, you know, they're trolling, they're upset, they don't want to play the game properly anymore. Usually, it's the support decides to troll the ADC by leaving the lane and leaving the ADC alone. And my support, the brainiac that they are, they see this happening and they're like, Oh god, I need to go mid and match this roam. And they leave me alone, 1v1, or in this case, 1v0, and I die to a gank. Did they need to go mid and match the roam? Nope. Enemy support was trolling. Roaming mid was not the right move, which means matching mid was not the right move. But it happens every time. Every time. It is like clockwork. Supports don't want to stay in lane 2v1 because they find it boring, so they go mid and leave the ADC to die. In other words, the enemy support trolling causes your support to sometimes grief you by accident as well. Like, it baits them into making bad decisions that sometimes can actually fuck your ADC more than... We can beat her here, hang on. No, are you kidding me? This mini block. Okay, I got her at least <laughs> a bit of the ghost. Not bad. I have no vision because Raka's refusing to lane bot because the enemy bot lane isn't laning bot. So I just have to respect the fact that I could get ganked and leave. Where is that? Okay, it's mid. There is a Nessus on this lane. Thankfully, there's no turret I have to defend. Okay, so I'm pretty sure the static shift had minimal uh, nerf had a minimal effect on Aphelios. Probably wasn't worth doing that. I wanted to use my static shift Brock on the turret. That is too tanky to die. There we go. Oh boy. Oh no. Wait, why is Kaisa? Oh, she got him still anyway. Okay. It's looking like a close one, though. Oh, 
If I get a stir, then I got... Oh, Kaisa's bot? Yeah, I'm gonna have... Infinity Edge, there we go. Too predictable, Briar. Might still die if they're sprinting on me, though. Don't think so, though. Oh. Nice. That'd be a threat, yep. Yeah. Okay, I'll probably do Lord Dominic's third item here, so we can melt this Nessus. It's very important to have cleanse against Nessus, by the way. Especially as a sometimes relatively short- hang on. Got her. As a sometimes relatively short range DDC like Aphelios. So whenever her Nessus uses W on you, you can just cleanse it and keep on doing max DPS, otherwise your DPS is crippled. I'll get this red buff. Ooh, and maybe Kaisa. Hello? Ow, wait. Shit, I didn't realize she has AP. Fuck. She has 100 AP, yeah. Andrews and Amtom. Fuck, that sucks. Did I have a big shutdown? No, I didn't have any shutdown. Cool. Oh god. Okay, so the first time one of us gets cheesed by the fact that uh, Kaisa's pushing only because Briar is next to her, and it's just an ambush. You know, for, okay, fair enough. It's realistic that somebody would overextend his solo queue. But the second time, you just face check a brush when you know they're in the area? Like, come on, bro. Where's that going? Probably not me, but... Wait, I heard it. I think I heard it. Must have been, like, to my left? Maybe? <laughs> Damn. So I hit the fact that I can auto with blue, and the thing that I auto dies, and then even though I threw my auto, it doesn't like keep on traveling and do AoE, it just fucking dies midair. But you know that it connected because my static shift rocked off of it, it's just I don't get AoE from the actual blue. So annoying. Okay, well I can do a really good defensive triple weapon combo here, if I were to need it. Purple Q and two. Oh. Can't risk going on it because of the bar ult. So annoying. Oh well. Wait, that's a Trinity Force Tristana. What the hell? She's gonna be super tanky, but fairly low damage. Daughter, jeez, my burst. <laughs> oh my god, I need to run to... Oh, there's no Vigo to run to anymore. Oh my god. Fuck, you're kidding me. Man, if I didn't get hit by the Lux ult, I might have killed Kai'Sa. My damage is insane. Let's revisit that damage. Because I was not expecting to deal that much damage. That was a static shift proc in all fairness, so every other auto would not have dealt that much, but yeah. Damn. Ugh, I couldn't dodge the Lux ult other angle, it's the most tilting thing. Unless I want to flash it, which I don't, because I might still die anyway. Where did she even ult from? I guess she ulted from the left? Yeah. Probably couldn't have collapsed on me, but Nessus could have maybe. 
Or Bro could have chased me down. I've been chased pretty far by Bars before. Hmm. Okay, so Yone is trolling. Cool. We love to see it. actually do anything about this. If I get hit by his W then I'm gonna be forced to use cleanse. So I can't even enter auto attack range. Here might be okay though. Nope, oh, okay. Bad recipient sorry I guess right we should give up the Drake. We were forced to respond to this Nessus instead of defending the Drake and so we should acknowledge that we made that decision. And Drake is no longer contestable. I'm proud of my team for actually giving it up instead of just dying 3v5 as they usually would. Pick up maybe one more whiff. I also couldn't tell if Nessus actually used W on me or not, by the way. Like, I, I think he used W on Ari, but that just made zero sense to me, so... I was hesitant to get too close to Nessus to fully DPS him with white in case I was slowed without realizing it. And I didn't want to just randomly cast cleanse. culture stunner here oh she's gonna be oh hello wait shit ah oh, I'm de definitely dead now if she has ult okay I guess she doesn't Jesus <laughs> what the fuck that almost sent me back and Oh my god, that's half my HP gone to one Luxie. What the hell? It's her build. I think I heard a viral there, but I can't tell. Oh, hello. Oh, are you kidding me? The Ignite. Well, she wasn't gonna have the reset anyway. It's the flash that fucked me. Yeah, so in theory, I think I might have been fine here because she, if she didn't have flash, because I might have been able to flash over the wall in time, but... Yeah. Sucks. Damn, he is not even close to winning that. Jeez. Wait, fucking minions in the way, man. Thank god, but dude. I was gonna fucking combo her there. Then the minions just protected her. Like, get down, Mr. President. Jeez. I was gonna do purple Q into green, Q into green ult.
But without the Q, I couldn't, like, I couldn't one-shot her, and without one-shotting her, I was in grave danger, so I needed to leave before even doing any other part of the combo, as soon as I knew it wasn't gonna land. Ah, wait. Ah, damn it. Okay, she... <laughs> I was gonna say she'll have to die to that. I'll reach at least, but nope. Nice work, Chad's Viego. Just let him be. They're about to get Baron. It's looking rough. Lux thinks she's being so sneaky distracting us as if we don't know that they're on Baron, we just can't do anything about it. Oh, good job Lux, you distracted us. We had no- oh my god. Fuck me. Well that blows, my bad. I wasn't expecting them to make a play like after getting Baron. Especially not the uh, split pushers. Let's see what my team can do, but realistically it's game over here. Break wasn't a bad call. Wait, what? <laughs> no way, what the fuck? Jeez. That's brutal. They don't even get the Drake, they get soul. Oof. Alright, we try our best. GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Aphelios. What the hell, he dragged that all the way out so I could only do one auto. Okay. Gonna be playing Aphelios Bard into Zed Bliss... No, not Zed Bliss Crank. Ash Blitz Crank. Which is going to be a pretty pro matchup. Ophelos is pretty weak into Blitzcrank, he's pretty weak into Ash, and then Bard is pretty weak into Blitzcrank. Bard is pretty weak in general. So we have pretty good scaling, but we're absolutely going to get dumpstered in lane is the expectation here. Then when we come out of lane, we are rewarded with the ability of playing into Malphite, who is really good into Ophelios. Ophelios is terrible into Malphite, so very fun game ahead of us. Okay, I don't, I don't understand minion aggro though. Like, why would I focus the minion at the back instead of the one at the front? Doesn't make sense. Oh, man, I missed out on the cannon for that. Oh, fuck. Can we get a gank? This could be good. Just gonna have to focus blitz here. Who should still hopefully die? Shit, maybe not. Okay, we got him. Let's go. Uh, Salah's probably dead here, though. Okay, I'm gonna back off, because I don't want her to expect my... Oh, triple weapon combo, but... but uh, Bard just got her. Okay, my bad. He must have been perma-slowing her there. Oh, he has red buff as well. Oh, wait. Did he... No, he got red buff from killing her. I guess he just got his passive at the right time. Cool. Alright, nice one. That's certainly going to help us in our lane. Oh, for love. For the love of God. Should have worried, uh, based on the brush where there wasn't a ward, I guess. Just didn't think it would matter. Yeah, I, w I would not have picked if I listened to a game like this. I've already learned my lesson throughout this video about just blind picking a Felios, or well, picking him to anything at least. But, uh, like they hadn't really showed anything about their bot lane yet, and I don't think Bard had picked yet either. I'm gonna place my ward here because I'm not gonna have enough control over bot lane to protect that pink. 
Yeah, so my support hadn't shown his Bard pick yet, and their bot lane hadn't shown any of their picks yet. All I saw was Zed and Talia, and I was like, yeah, whatever, sure, let's play Aphelios. Then immediately they locked in Ash and Blitzcrank because their next two picks, and I was like, wow, that blows. Oh my god, that hit. Jeez, that trade. I'll place my pink here. Just for the sake of having it somewhere where I don't have to defend it. No, oh, come on, man. What the hell? What is that timing? I have the worst luck with cannons in the world. Okay, this bard heal changes were so good, though. Like, he's, he's a straight-up enchanter, bro. Look at this. He's the ma vast majority of the healing I've received since I was, like, 20% HP. What the hell he fish act? Oh, for... Jeez, man. Really? That was gonna be such a good trade because they wasted all their cooldowns on the bard. Such a lucky... Like, we were pushed into the turret. Why was he even here? That's so annoying because it was such a random time to even roam. Like, was this plan for Bart to face check? I don't think so. I think he wasted his time with a roam that was very unlikely to ever work, and it just happened to almost work. Let's hope they're not cheesing and they're actually in base. Need to make sure they don't freeze this. Oh, the plating would be so nice to get as well. There we go. Wait, did I hear a Tilly wall? Yeah, but that was top. Hmm. Yeah, I need to help her actually. Got the vision though. Oh boy. Wait, I only got one track room for my whole red thing. What the hell? You're kidding me. What about the lose vision? Oh no. Wait, what? Wait, I meant to use white there. What? No, I should have called Blitz. What? Why didn't my weapon swap go through? So I... Q, red Q? Then I swapped to white? Wait, whoa, what? I didn't mean to switch. What the fuck? Huh, my bad. I must have clicked that without even realizing it. I didn't even realize I did it by mistake. Huh. Fuck, that sucks. My bad. Critical Blitz at the very least. Also, was I just incredibly lucky with the timing at which he flashed? Ah, uh, it's too late to tell. I might have been. He flashed exactly as a white ulted. 
But he also, he did a flash hook, so I think it might have been, been just extremely unlucky timing. It didn't look like he was flashing to dodge. Did we at least get the Drake? No, Drake is still up, jeez. Oh boy. I have to refresh my trackums here. But it's like the, the Blitzcrank himself just one shots me, man. Ash barely needs to do anything. Half of that burst was Blitzcrank. Oh my god. Um, uh, I was getting a grief by Bard there. Like, there's no way I can fix that wave state by myself. It was already pushing towards them, so there's not like an option to like let it like push towards us or just stay even. So I'm just missing. Like if it's up to Bard, I'm missing CS for like up to a minute, maybe longer, depending on how long he takes on this roam. Because they could just freeze indefinitely. I needed to try and crush that. And they're still going to be zoning me from CS. This is fucking dumb. I hate Bard players. Oh boy. Okay. Jeez. She has no flash now, right? Okay, she dies, thank god. They might even win it. Oh, come on, why are they all a flash? There we go. Nice one. No pink there. I'm gonna get zone from CS again here. I may as well like roam. Uh, I'm, there's no point getting dived here again. Look, he's positioning to dive. Positioning at the back room, more likely to get caught. He might use W on this wave if we're lucky. He did it. Ooh, that was clean. I did the uh, Q auto auto cancel. Didn't even mean to do it actually, but it's so clean. Satisfying to pull off. I mean, I may as well stay mid. There's hardly any point in going bot. Oh my god, that's disgusting. No fucking way that worked that way. Jeez, that's so tilting for the Talia. Unless he can pull off some pretty nutty up plays like that. Sometimes by accident. A lot of the times by accident. Sometimes on purpose though. <sighs> Wish that minion would have died. Oh, for fuck's sake. Man, my bad. I should have taken the safer path thing. Ah, but dude! What is this luck, man? Or lack of luck. Oof, that crit.
What? Oh, come on. Damn it, that had lit. Silence was so unfortunately timed. Delete my combo for so long. Did I even get my ult on Ash like I wanted to? Okay, nice one, guys. At least we won. Let's replay up, punk. Play up, here we go. I was walking forward there when I was just meant to be comboing. I'm so annoyed. Uh, I did a decent amount of damage to Ash. Uh, I think we have to go... Kill Force this game. For the Blitzcrank, for the Ash ult. Helps a little bit against Zed. Helps less than you would think against Malphite because the Malphite will travel so fast. Even if you can react in time to press the button of Gale Force in time, a lot of the time you'll still get hit by it anyway. Like with the Moth Adult, you pretty much have to predict it rather than react to it. To dodge it with Gale Force. Come on, I was so close. Bro, of course. Dude, one more auto and I think the Zed was dead there. Oh, this game is so tilting, man. I think I straight up feel safer on side lanes rather than mid lane right now. I don't have part protecting me either way. So long as I'm not on the side lane that has Zed on it anyway. Ugh, fire even takes farm. Just stop, like he was about to steal that. Why do I not feel safe here? Should be fine. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Relief. Oh, hello, Malphite. God, that guy is gonna take negative damage this game. What the hell? He's not even ahead, man. Did I even break his shield? Okay, I broke his shield. What the fuck? They might be on Baron. Okay. I don't know why I bother. It was already low anyway, and it obviously wasn't going to kill him. <clears throat> Should only do that to actually kill people. Or onto carries. Onto carries, that would be useful. Just to poke them. Get them lower so they're more vulnerable. Oh, okay, I got an assist. Cool. Without even having to use the sal the Salus's Moffat ult. Awesome. Okay, the Static Shift no nerf actually is noticed if you can't build Pickaxe or BF Sword. <laughs> I gotta say. Oh my god. Got her. Got her, let's go. No, I'm dead, let's go. Into the Zed. Bard could absolutely poke with Qs, by the way. Nice. Alright, this is a post-game edit to inform you guys of the fact that I accidentally left my mic muted, so there is no more talking from this point onwards in the video. But I hope you guys enjoy anyway.
Okay, sorry, I don't know how long I've been muted. I just realized that. That was not me tilted. I've been talking this whole time. <laughs> My bad. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.